Hi, in this video series on the condition called fibromyalgia, I'm going to be focusing this video on the mechanisms surrounding the reason for pain and the other symptoms in fibromyalgia. So what do we understand about the mechanisms and the neuroscience? Now, what we have discovered, and I spoke about this in the last video around the immune and the nervous system being involved, we should think about fibromyalgia as a form of a neuroimmune sensitization, meaning that the nervous and immune systems are overactive and hypersensitive, and it is this combination of both systems not responding and reacting normally is why patients can present with a lot of symptoms. Now, there are many reasons why that can happen. And in my clinical practice, I have seen patients coming with that diagnosis or all of those symptoms. And sometimes they would have a trigger. They can recollect that it all started after an infection, or they might recollect that it started after a major surgery. Another reason would be that they have been in hospital or in intensive care with a severe illness after which they were never the same. Another group of people are those who have been involved in a road traffic accident or have been subjected to a very sudden physical event, a shock. Another group of people who get affected by this widespread change in the immune and nervous system are those who have experienced a sudden emotional traumatic event. Now that can be a bereavement, that can be a divorce, or that can be some form of abuse that has been sustained either in childhood or in adulthood. All of these can be common reasons for the immune and the nervous system to get oversensitive and overactive and then it plays out in all the organs of the body. Now this has been called a particular kind of name there. So the International Association for Study of Pain, which is like the main organization in the world which sets a standard for pain, has suggested that fibromyalgia should be a form of what is called chronic primary pain. When the nervous system gets highly sensitized and we cannot be absolutely sure of how that has happened, but it has definitely happened, then they call it a chronic primary pain. So this hypersensitivity of the nervous and immune system and the reason for it existing is what makes this condition so uniquely challenging to diagnose, but also then to think about the mechanisms and treatment. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the content useful and of value to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more videos to be notified.